Well, we're in for a storm. And we've got those ram fingers all ready. So um, we're gonna try to process these the best we can and then uh, see what we end up with. This was about a kilogram and a quarter. So 1,250 grams of video card fingers, RAM fingers, all these modern fingers. So good news is they've pretty much all let go. And uh, we'll just process these. I'm not going to go into as much detail this time as I just did all this with the vintage card fingers last week. So um, if you want the the play-by-play -play or the, the narrated version, that one was last week. I'm just gonna hurry through these and uh, we're gonna see what we end up with, all right? So here we're gonna zoom in real fast so you can take a look at this. So we're just below the 800 mark. Um, we're gonna add a few more fingers to this and we're gonna get this cooking. But uh, you can see that it's already starting to react. Those bubbles are working their stuff, so. This is our last of the of the multiple batches that I ran with the fingers. I didn't want to use a whole lot of acid. Let's do a quick stannous chloride test off of this solution. We'll put a drop right there. And this green color, this green color tells me there's a lot of copper still in our solution. So this isn't going to be very pure. But uh, oh well, we'll have to do a few refinements, I guess. Nice. So that is indeed a very positive reaction. We have gold mixed with our copper, unfortunately, in our aqua regia. We're going to strain this uh, into another beaker and we're going to rinse off all the extra aqua regia that is trapped on these pins and we'll filter that. Should be the last of the liquid right here. Hopefully I don't overflow the funnel. It's kind of all of our little hash right there. Looks pretty clear, but it's got the aqua regia all over it. So we'll rinse it and add it to this, uh, to this beaker. We've got about 900 milliliters here of water. We're gonna just pour this in and shake that around a bit. Then we'll filter it down into our uh, aqua regia hit down here. Man, that is really dark. It's got a ton of copper in it. So we've got all those fingers rinsed and this side is the rinse water. It has a lot of copper in it still. But um, this one is our aqua regia that is more concentrated and that has a lot more gold in it. So I, I did a stannous chloride for each side you can see this one is for this uh, this uh, beaker, and it's really strong compared to this side, which is right there. It's not much to look at, but there's definitely something in there. So um, I decided I was gonna leave these two separated and drop the gold as they are. And uh, most of the reason why 
is because I don't have a bigger beaker than this and I have got too much fluid. So, okay, we got our stump remover and we will sprinkle some in. Give that a stir. And I don't expect to be able to see much in this one other than it just turned from green to blue, which is really cool. Man, that is a really nice color blue. And you can see at the bottom, it's got this little bit of a, of a cloud forming down there. But when I can smell that, that metallic lemon, what I, I think I figured out what it is. It's a smell of the nitric. A little bit mixed up there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I've added a little bit of water, but I didn't add my sodium bicarbonate. So that was a mistake. I didn't mean to add the sodium metabisulfide quite yet. I need to add some baking powder. Others uh, in my last video were saying that I should have used urea. And yes, urea is valid and viable. Um, I had a chemistry friend uh, give me advice not to use urea um, for different reasons. So uh, I'm using this massive bag of baking soda until it's gone. Once it's gone, I'm open. Uh-oh, there we go. Gotta keep it under control. Gotta keep your reaction under control. Holy freak. Don't overload. This reminds me of uh, sulfuric. Well, that was unfortunate. I had a boil over. I've got no heat on here. But uh, the um, solution responded negatively to the amount of baking soda that I added all at once. And it came up over the edge and I was able to suppress it a little bit with spray bottle, but... Uh, that was an unfortunate event. Wonder how much I lost. On that note, the solution over here is doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and drop what we can out of this one and close out the video before I make any other major mistakes today. Sodium metabisulfide in acid does not appreciate sodium bicarbonate in the same solution. So, huh, I'll have to play around with that a little bit, but I think that I had too much sodium bicarbonate, and since I had already put a little bit of the SMB inside, the sodium uh, metabisulfide, the two inside of the acid responded by bubbling over. Um, it was a nice teal bubble over too, but uh, shoot, I uh, really screwed that one up today. But we have the reaction back under control and uh, we're going to let these guys precipitate out. This will take, I don't know, about an hour, maybe a little bit more for, for this guy over here because he's less concentrated. But we'll, uh, we'll let these go and uh, we'll see what we end up with. Thank you.
Well, I'm done, but everything got soaked. So I've got a lot of extra water in here, but there's all of the gold powder. <laughs> um, I don't have a, a weight on it and the rain is still going. So my forge that I, I melt things down with, it's not gonna run today. If the rain stops with enough time tonight, maybe I can, but this rain is supposed to go on for a few more hours. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. It's got a little bit of borax still on it. It's really dirty. Um, if you look real close, you can also see there's a copper tint to it. So this, this needs to be refined again. Um, it's a lot more than I expected, but I'm thinking a lot of that's gonna be copper. So let's turn this on and let's take a look. 12.88 grams, that's a little high. And I expect a lot of that to be gone with copper and that borax that's on there. I wanna show you the difference between some of the gold that I've done in the past and some of the gold that I just did. So let me dump out some of our little pieces here. So you guys remember the, the 10 and a half grams that we got a few weeks back. And then this is that two gram piece that I got from just running a few of those, um, those IC chips. But now let's show you the difference between those and these two pieces that we were able to get out of those um, ram fingers and the the video cards and stuff you can definitely see that there's a difference um this is more of a rose gold uh i've seen different stats on rose gold in general this isn't technically rose gold this is just um this is just copper uh inside of our gold i don't know the exact ratio of gold to copper as well as any other impurities that are in there. You can definitely see that there's some, some um, borax. You can definitely see side by side. Um, this isn't purified either, but this is more pure and closer to three nines fine than, than this, uh, I'm gonna call it rose gold for now because it's pretty close to rose gold in color, but uh, I don't know its actual composition. So to give you an idea, this is about 24 grams of material. I'm not gonna refine that right now. And technically I'm not gonna refine this right now either. So the reason why I'm not gonna re, uh, redo this and refine this right now, um, this is about 12 grams of material and it will be pretty expensive for me to refine every little piece that I make. At a certain point, I'm just wasting my nitric acid uh, to refine such a small amount of gold. I'm gonna have to refine them anyway. And so what I should do is wait until I've got a whole bunch and then I can refine them all together. Uh, that way I'm not wasting my money and my time and your time watching me refine just a small amount that's going to uh, amount to a, a large waste of materials. When I have 50 grams total, I will refine them all down to a pure button and see what that ends up with. That's going to be just short of two troy ounces of gold. That's a that's 24 grams of material. Pretty excited about that. But uh, we're gonna have to call the video here. I'm not gonna do anything else. So um, I appreciate uh, all of you guys for sticking around. Um, I have in my little lab experiments going on right now. I've got another set of fingers running. I've also got um, a backlog. I've also got a backlog of IC chips. Look at all those motherboards. I've got a whole stack. This place is uh, falling apart. So I need, to, I need to get serious about tearing that apart and get this area cleaned up. So I got a whole bunch coming. 
but uh, we're not gonna refine these today. So I'll catch up with you in the near future.